So the Paris Treaty, you know, 140 countries got together, they ratified this treaty and they pledged to be net zero. And you're allowed to trade these things called ITMOs underneath the Paris Agreement. And ITMO stands for Internationally Transferred Mitigation Obligation. And so what that is, is a transfer of carbon, right? So mitigation obligation means I've pledged to go to net zero. If I have more carbon than I need to get the net zero, I can trade that around, right? With people that need it in order to get to net zero. And the whole scheme is that you balance a ledger here. So the voluntary markets, they just ignore the national level markets and they, they work at a project-based level. I'm a developer, I have this good idea, I'm gonna make some money off of carbon, I go lease 10,000 acres of land, I plant some trees, I hire an MRV company to come validate that there's more carbon being sequestered now than there was before. And I package that up and then I go try to sell it to somebody. And that is, that's how the market works now. There's no intermediaries. I try to go sell it direct. And so you have this tension between the voluntary markets and countries, signatories of the Paris Agreement. And you have this tension because if you've signed the Paris Agreement, you've pledged to be net zero. And so you're trying to keep track you have to balance your emissions and your removals of carbon dioxide, or well, of carbon in general. And they have to be zero by 2050. That's your pledge. And so there's a compliance aspect to this where it messes up the treaty commitment.